is a professor at the Dwight Shaw, Shaw College of Education at Ashland University. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Judy Austin to the podium. Stand on the shoulders of giants 
And for that, I'm truly grateful. To be back in this place that I call my adopted home, Houston, Texas, where I started my career in academia 22 years ago at the University of Houston, is really a full circle moment for me. And I'm humbled and I'm grateful. Now you heard my song coming down, that is John Coltrane's A Love Supreme. And I've written about that and what that means for me in this notion of leadership. John Coltrane once said, and I quote, my music is the spiritual expression of what I am my faith, my knowledge, my being. And I've taken that quote and made it my own. And I say, for me, my preaching, my teaching, research and service in the field of educational leadership is the spiritual expression of who and what I am, my faith, my knowledge, and my being. Thus the work that I do is really a love supreme. It is my calling to disrupt, and my calling and my duty, might I add, to disrupt the field of educational leadership. It is my calling and my duty to challenge the field of educational leadership. And it is my calling and my duty to embrace and love this field of educational of leadership enough to make her better than when I found her. It's not been an easy road from being the only black woman in one of two black folks in the room in the plenum meeting in 1993 right here in the city of Houston over at the Double Tree at Post Oak next to the Galleria Mall. <laughs> and I had to get that in. <laughs> and being in that place as the graduate student working for UCEA, which was housed at Penn State at the time, but being seen as the help yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and not as a PhD student, seen as the help by some folks who, a few years later, had to call me professor. From there to my experiences as a faculty member in my first three years here in Texas and not being fully supported to do the work, but being there to check off a box on some form in somebody's office. And then moving on to Ohio and having my work and my worth challenged in the tenure process, because it ain't easy. Yet I knew ultimately what God had made manifest for my life, and I continued to walk forward. I kept moving forward, and in 2010 became the first black woman to be promoted to full professor at Ashland University in the history of that institution. Yeah. An institution that has been around since 1878, and I'm still the only black woman full professor at that institution. Thus I stand before you today from being the tempered radical <laughs> who rocked the boat from the inside in academia to embracing the newness that I feel and the newness of my identity that I'm writing about and now that I am a refined revolutionary. <laughs> because I recognize my worth and I recognize my destiny outside of this boat. So, to cheer. Here's to those who can now stand on my shoulders. Yes. 
and bust the doors wide open. Yeah. To be hidden no more. Yeah, yeah. To be authentically you. And to be more than you can ever imagine or think in the space that we call the academy and beyond. Because there really is more beyond. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Please, please welcome Brother Dr. Kofi Momotay. Yeah. 